Welcome everybody to this short webinar on Alibaba Cloud's image search. My name is Oliver and I'm working as a solution architect at Alibaba Cloud. So what is image search? Let us first take a look at the competitors' offerings and they usually divide into these two uh, offerings. First one is that you're providing a text-based query and based on that query the servers will return a set of images that correspond to this query. An example would be like a cat or a tree or car and the image will then return according images. An example of those would be Google image search. The other one is that you're providing an image as an input and the service returns uh, the result of a feature extraction. So to give you an example, the input, in, the input image could contain different animals and the service could then identify that there's a cat, a dog, and a horse maybe on the image. So how is Alibaba Cloud's image search different? Alibaba Cloud image search is based on our own deep learning and machine learning technology that we have developed over the years for our own e-commerce business. And how it works is that a user can provide an image as input and the service will then return a set of images that are identical or similar to the input image. This service exists in two different versions. The one is called product image search and uh, it lets you find products that are similar or identical to the product in the input image. And the interesting thing here is that the result set is based on a custom data set that you are providing. The first version, the second version is the generic image search which works similar to the first one, except that the result set uh, will be just, uh, will, will, will be images that are similar or identical to the input image, but are not based on a custom data set. So how are our customers using image search? This service is uh, geared towards the e-commerce industry. Uh, innovation there has been really stagnant for a while now and there's little improvement to the overall customer shopping experience. On top of that, customers really find it difficult if they go shopping to find relevant products they're looking for uh, with text queries alone. So image search provides a really convenient uh, solution to every e-commerce company that enables your customers to simply upload pictures of products they like and they will get an immediate response of related products that are similar or even identical and which they can immediately buy in your uh, e-commerce shop, for example. The interesting thing here is that this service is really powerful. It's able to process billions of images and returns results within milliseconds. Also, it's really simple to use because it's a fully managed offering. You don't need to install the service anywhere on your own machines. It's really a fully managed offering with uh, really simple to use APIs, which lets you integrate this functionality in very short time into your own application. On top of that, this service really has built in all the experience of our own e-commerce business that we have gathered over the, over the years now. And it's been used in our own shopping apps like Taobao, for example, which is uh, the world's largest shopping app in the world. Before I give you an example in a live demo, let us quickly take a look at how the data import works. And it's really simple. Actually, you can upload your own custom data set via simple API calls, or you can upload them onto our object storage service um, and then do a bulk import into Alibaba Cloud image search. And this will then be the custom data set that will be used by image uh, search service to find uh, products that are based on your data set. 
Um, image search supports out of the box different product categories. So if you want image search to do it, it can automatically categorize uh, the input images by certain categories, such as uh, bags or shoes or accessories, snacks, makeup, toys, underwear. Um, the, the good thing about that is that it lets you filter the result Z uh, even further. And we will see an example of that very soon in the live demo. So first of all, let's take a look at our own Taobao app, uh, which is using this service, just to give you an idea how it works and how it can be integrated and used in your own mobile app, for example. So this is my own mobile phone here, and let's open the Taobao app. And usually, if you want to shop for a water bottle, you know, you typically get input a uh, text-based query, right? Like this, water bottle. And then you get a huge result set. But these are water bottles that are not necessarily those that you like to buy. Because for example, you have seen a water bottle like this that you want to have. So what would be easier than a text query? Right, a picture. So let's take a picture here. And as you can see, the app will then return images of water bottles that look really similar to the one we have just seen. So this provides your customers with a way more convenient way to search for products in your own web store. But of course, you can also integrate the service uh, with a web-based application like this one here. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload a picture of a yellow backpack like this one here. So let's upload it. And image search will then look into the custom data set and will find pictures that are similar to this yellow backpack. So each of those items here could be uh, a product in your own web store. So as you can see, not all of these images are backpacks, like for this woman here, for example. Um, sometimes it happens that uh, the algorithm returns pictures that are similar in certain terms, like uh, the color of the coat here of this woman. But uh, obviously, it's not a backpack. However, since uh, the service automatically assigns categories to the images, backpack or clothes, for example, um, if this web app would be a little bit more intelligent, we could filter down the result set um, based on the category, okay, and could therefore avoid to have images included that are not of the same category as the input image, for example. So this is really convenient. So let's switch back to the slides and uh, say thank you for listening. If you are interested from a business size and sales perspective, uh, please contact my colleague Christoph Kung at christoph.kung at alibaba-inc.com. He will be very happy to receive your queries and help you from the business side. If you have any technical questions regarding this service, please don't hesitate to contact me at o.arafat at alibaba-inc.com. Happy to help you with any technical questions you're having. Again, thanks for listening and have a great day. Bye.